So one of the things that's been bugging me a little bit about AI in the developer world is the focus on cost. We talk about productivity, we talk about speed, and the problem is, is we're creating kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Because when you talk about those types of business factors and those types of business outcomes, immediately most people in the business will focus on cost. Then all of a sudden people start to get concerned. They start to get fearful. They may not adopt the technology because they don't want to lose their job. Well, the fact of the matter is, is that developers have to take the first step here. And what they have to do is talk about the different types of outcomes they can get. AI-based test and test case and automated testing tooling products, and there are many out there, are able to increase your coverage. They're able to increase the overall quality of the code you're shipping. And they're actually able to provide better test cases to run across the board. That's an outcome that is something not cost-based necessarily. It's actually a way to get work done better. It's a quality metric. It's not a cost metric. When it comes to development, it's not about moving code faster. It's about building better code. But when you look at the agentic development tools that are coming out now, it's also about clearing backlog and also about coverage features in your spec that may get pushed off when the time gets tight or at the end of your sprint. How many times have you seen a sprint where only the topmost priority things are getting worked on and everything else just falls to the backlog? That becomes technical debt down the road and that's a big problem. So really start to focus on the outcomes and the better things that are gonna happen about clearing backlog and reducing technical debt, reducing risk, or improving the quality of the work you're doing versus focusing so much on productivity and ultimately cost. It's about making you better, it's not about making you cheaper.